decided to try to go through my mess of seeds and see what I do have and what I should still order. Uh, this year I did order some beans to try for a dried bean and I only got one pack of each just to see that they do grow good on our new farm. And we'll save most of these four seeds. We'll probably only cook one pot of each to make sure that we do like them and that they're worth keeping the seed from. I have a painted pony. It's supposed to be good as a green bean, snap bean, and as a dry bean. So that would be really handy if they are good. We'll find out. I have a midnight black turtle for a dry bean, a light red kidney bean, and I'm not sure if I'll say this right, cannellini bean. I think it's an Italian dry bean, white bean. And then I also thought that I would take some regular pinto beans, store-bought, like you would get at Food Line to cook, and try planting a few of those, too. The rest of these I just ordered this year. I have a German foxtail millet that I thought I'd try. A black holus barley. A Carolina gold rice. And my understanding is this is a highland rice that does not require the flooding that some rice does. And then I have a Tecan ruby buckwheat. And that is really pretty in the pictures. And I have been to the Dollar Tree and picked up a few seeds there. They're a quarter a pack. You can't beat that. Uh, I got a Grand Bell pepper mix from there to try. Uh, my peppers, last year, I planted the California Wonder. And they did too well. The weight of the peppers broke the plants off and I was losing three or four good sized peppers every time a breeze blew through. So I may still plant a few of the California Wonders this year, but that's the reason for the Grand Bell mix and I'm not even going to try to say this one, but I ordered these also, trying to find a good green pepper with a stronger stem so that I wouldn't lose as many to the wind. Uh, we also grow several banana peppers. We like those pretty good too. And I, I usually grow some cayenne for a hot pepper. Uh, I do grow a few jalapenos every once in a while. We're not a huge fan of those. The Serrano chili and the Hungarian yellow wax I just got this year. I've never tried those before. And I missed a few of my bean seeds. These are state half runners. These are seeds that I saved back in 2009, but I planted the, some of these last year, and they still done very good. So, they have been kept in the freezer. I like to keep all my seed in the freezer, whether they really need to be or not. And I also have a contender. A bush bean and I like to grow these in raised beds instead of the taller vining type. Um, my tomatoes 
I don't have very good luck with tomatoes. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I do get pretty vines, although they are leggy. But we don't, I never have had a good crop of tomatoes. Uh, I have tried the Rutgers, the Italian Roma. Here's another pack of Roma. St. Pierre, a mortgage lifter, and there's another Roma. And I've also got the purple Russian tomato that was a free gift from Baker's Creek on one of my orders. Um, the Dollar Tree also had the Denver high flung carrots, so I stocked up. <laughs> These are some seeds out of the regular small radishes that I saved. We didn't much care for the radishes, which is the reason they went to seed. It's because we wasn't eating them. I did get some of the French breakfast radishes to try. See if we like those any better this year. But I don't think we'll be planting any of the regular smaller radishes this year. We'll save those and wait until we get a pig. So we'll have something to save them for. Uh, I did order a daikon radish. I've heard a lot about using it for a ground cover and to break up hard ground. So we'll see how those work out. We're going to try those for the first time this year. This past year was our first year growing turnips in any amount at all, which is still not very much. So I've got some more of the dollar store seeds and we will definitely be planting more turnips. I this is just some more greens that I ordered that I wanted to try that we haven't got around to yet. I've had these a couple years now, but the seed should still be good. I'm not sure if we'll get to try them this year or not, but we'll see. Red vein sorrel. I was very excited to try. So I just planted a few out in a little herb bed to see what it was like. We don't like it. And now I can't kill it. <laughs> Some Georgian Southern Collards. We like these pretty good. Uh, last year was our first year planting it. We did harvest these to eat for the first. We still have some in the garden. I haven't been out to check them. I don't know how well they're regrowing since I cut them for the first. But we'll take a look after a while. I have some little Marvel peas that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. We'll get those in the ground as soon as it warms up a little bit. Onions. Uh, I have a white bunton onion from the Dollar Tree. And I have some seed that I saved off of some of these a few years back. I didn't clean them up or nothing. They look terrible, but they'll grow. Uh, we do eat a lot of onion. And I do need to order some type of head onion. I have heard that growing onion from seed will make a bigger head. And I hope to try that out this year. Kohlrabi, we have never tried. This was a free seed this year when I made my order at Baker Creek. Swiss chard. I picked up a couple packs of the mixed colors from the Dollar Tree again. Uh, last year we tried the chard. This is some, I don't know if you can see that. This is some that I picked up at a seed swap. I have no clue what variety it is, but we did like this. Uh, may plant some more of this this year to save seed from. And then we'll try the mixed colors as well. Cucumbers are something I may start a few in the greenhouse when we get it set up. 
it's just a small little greenhouse that we set up on the porch to start our seeds in. It's I have dreams of a huge greenhouse someday, but that will be a few years down the road. We don't eat a whole lot of cucumbers, so we won't be doing many of those. We don't do pickles very much. We just want one in a salad every once in a while. Okay, okra. We don't eat a whole lot of okra. This is the Clemson spineless. That's all I've ever tried to grow, and it's always done good. I've saved a lot of seed. This is not all of them. I have some in an outbuilding that I've saved too. Zucchini. This is the Black Beauty variety. I won't grow but maybe one or two plants of these. I'm the only one in the family that really likes zucchini or viola squash, crookneck squash. So, I mean, Jason will eat it if that's what I cook, but you don't especially like it. A Hopi Pale Gray Squash. I ordered it from Baker Creek a few years ago. It, I saw it in their magazine years ago, and I wanted to try it. And I didn't order it that year. And the next several years, it was not in their catalog. But I got online last year and found it so I had to order that and I grew some last year and I saved me some seed out of it squash are very finicky about mixing and I did have a zucchini plant in the garden last year so I'm not sure that these are pure seed but we're gonna try it I do still have a few from the original pack that I do have true seed if these what are mixed but we're gonna find out uh, my leaf lettuce my dad gave me a start of a red ruby lettuce that we absolutely love and I'll show you some of that in the garden it's if the weeds haven't overtook taken it it's still good a uh, black seeded Simpson lettuce it's pretty common variety but we do have some of that but we don't really grow a lot of the black seeded simpson because the red ruby is so good and there's some more of the lettuce we're just starting to figure out what to do with parsnips i love the flavor he's not very crazy about it so, we're still trying to find a way that he likes parsnips. Beets. We don't eat a whole lot of beets. I don't like the greens off of them. But I do like pickled beets. Um, I don't eat them very often. But when I do eat pickled beets, I can eat a whole pint by myself in one sitting. So, I like to keep some pickled beets on hand. We don't have a lot of luck with melons either. Hopefully, they'll do better out on the farm where they can get more sun. And, and hopefully, we can keep them watered good enough out there that they may do better. Uh, this is a sugar baby that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, these are watermelon that I saved from a watermelon that we bought at Aldi's. So we'll see what they will do. The seed that was saved from a cantaloupe from Aldi's. Broccoli we haven't had real good luck with. This is the Walt Ham 29 that I picked up at a seed swap. Uh, the cabbage worms will not let our broccoli grow at all. I also have a pack from the Dollar Tree, but we'll definitely try it again, but I'm not very hopeful about broccoli. Uh, cabbage, 
I picked up the early globe acre at the Dollar Tree. And I also have a Rio cabbage that my dad gave me. I did plant the Rio cabbage last year. We didn't have a very good harvest off of it, but I definitely want to try cabbage again. We just have to figure out some way of getting rid of those cabbage worms. I've also got a lot of different herb seeds. Cumin, I really want to grow, but I haven't had any luck with it so far. I want to keep trying. My oregano, I got some started. Not realizing that it was a type of mint, I put it in my herb bed and it's about to take it over. We're going to have to dig that up and move it this year. I like cilantro. Jason does not. So I get fussed at for growing cilantro, but I still sneak a couple in here and there. Of those herbs, I think we might do a few deal. I don't know if I'm imagining it or not, but a few deal seem to help deter some of the cabbage worms that we have problems with. They don't do away with them completely, but it seems to help in my mind anyway. And of the herbs that you would find in the Italian seasoning spice blend, I want to try to get some more of those growing. And of course, I need to sneak in a little bit of my cilantro. With all the plans that we have for this year, I doubt I'll spend a lot of time on flowers. I thought I would try nasturtium for the first time this year. I've heard a lot of people talking about it here lately. We have had terrible luck with corn. I do have a Reed's Yellow Dent seed that my dad gave me and a Yellow Hickory King Dent to try again. But those are the field corns. I do have a hybrid candy corn. It's the only hybrid that I know of that I have. <laughs> 